Farman and welcome to a little bit of a look around or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's not going to be a map showcase because this map isn't out but um, I asked in the previous episode of Bally Craig if anybody wanted to see uh, Wellbrook Farm which I have converted over for Shane um, and quite a few people said yes so you know I'm doing it this is kind of just like a bit of a playthrough you know I, I haven't really done much on the map apart from convert over but I'll walk you through the kit we're using and everything so we're using the class Lexian 780 uh, this is the second biggest one in the pack with the biggest header we're in field 40 of course we just need to get up. there's quite there's one or two things I want fixing on this map and it's the PDA's one because um, I haven't got round to it yet um, but all the fields buy and everything uh, we're running a case and the red rock over there and then over here we've got the New Holland T7 this is a really nice T7 with loads of ICs and stuff so if we jump in and if you press shift you get you know uh, what's that one I press that one out that should tell us so that's open and close bonnet there's uh, free point on the front that's the uh, front hydraulics and that's to drop and lower the back ones of course there's the window up there there's the rear window if I can get my head around far enough there we go. I don't think that I think both the doors open but that's it it's, it's, it is quite a nice tractor um, I can't remember where I got it from but I got it from somewhere uh, just a normal header there's some kit at the shop or is there? Oh, there's just a baler and a bale trailer at the shop. Um, so, this is the shop. Now, the, there is one or two, like, uh, actual, what are they called? Textures that want changing. These should be white, I think it is, and they're black. They just want fixing. That's it. As I said, there's quite a few little jobs that want doing, but I, I, I really don't mind them being in that colour, because they do look okay. A little bit of a village here. Uh... Going this way around, there's a church here. There's a an arable field, nice big arable field, and a nice big other arable field. Um, this is the arable yard that I built just quickly because I don't think this map had one. I never played this map, so I don't really know. Um, the of course we've got the power harrow there and the cedar in the corner because these might as well just live here. Grain sheds, a little bit of a yard, a bit of a track gravel track, bit of a grass field there you can't get in, lots of grass fields around here this is going to be quite quick you know because there isn't there isn't that much on the map in the way of like FS17 stuff so there's quite a, quite a couple of small fields you know there's little fields off just down little tracks and stuff of course there's a river well a river running right the way through it um, there's a bit of a yard over here as well. There's nothing actually at this yard. It's just just here. There's a bit of decoration. It was it was here in the original, so I've put it in. Um, I suppose we can carry on running this way. So we've got maize field, um, and then there's another just arable field. House, because of course the house has a white roof, so it's all it. it I, th I will fix them, but they don't really bother me that much, so I haven't really sorted them. All these gates wants to be red, but you know, a um, couple more fields up uh, up here and that. You know, there's nothing special. Bit of a pond here, um, with a bit of a footpath around it, because it's right next to the pub. Um, so here is the chickens, the sheep, and the pig yard. So this is everything yard. So there's some chickens wandering around. Uh, the outside pit works. The inside one doesn't. I've made it on both the pits. So we can buy some sheep, I think, from here. No, we can't. Sheep paddock, pig field, and then just a little field here. There's lots of grass fields on this map. A hell of a lot of grass fields around here as well. Um... Over in this field here, I've made a track. This track doesn't actually exist in the uh, in the old one. I just sort of built it. Leads down back to the main road because I think this gate went to a field, like a different field. Of course, there's some more grass fields over there. Uh, 
animal buy point. Tell you what, we'll do that now. We'll buy some pigs. We'll buy some sheep. Uh, we'll buy some cows. I'm only going to buy about four of each. Alright, so if we run back over to that yard. So, sheep are in this field, and pigs are over here. They all work and everything. Um, Alright, so if we run over here. Another track. This track leads to that yard over there. There's quite a few tracks and everything on this map. There is, what's it? Animal buy point, quite big. So, down here is a few more houses. Uh, this is the general shop. I so like you can get your seed, your fuel, and everything. And it is a sell point. I made it a sell point there. I didn't bother moving the old one. I just left it in. Water mill. Uh, some sort of church. I think that is. I can't really remember. It didn't say. And then this way just leads back in a big circle. So if we quickly run down here, a bit more of a maze field. Some signs. You know just it just leads round really round to where it would have come out if we were on if we'd have carried on down that road it's it, it is just like one big circle big OSR field here um, I am gonna do this quite quick because it's quite late and I should have made this video ages ago but I didn't have time so there's a single track down here round this leads round the kind of the back of the map um, there's, yeah, there's, as I said, there's one or two things that want fixing, but quite a few people asked if, well, two or three people asked if they could see it, so, you know, there's no harm in doing it. So here we are actually at the cow farm. So this is the cow farm. Um, as you can see, the things that are meant to be red are black, but you know, so what? This pit works. This pit, again, I've made it just a bale shed. So we've got the in-game weight, uh, a McHale it's just a reskin this Mikhail Bale grab a care fab and a purse is it Pearson Pearson uh, equipment apparently these are New Zealand this was done by Artie I think he reskinned it who's in our discord but you know they do look quite good and I we don't I can't remember if they're over here I, I fucking it's too late really <laughs> for me to remember shit so over here we've got an acrobat a hay bob, a mower, and a little muck spreader, and a chieftain three axled low lola. And then in this shed, which is why we're getting a little bit of lag, there are lots and lots of tractors. So, starting on this side, we have a Leyland 272, we have a Fordson Power Major. Hang on, this is the Fordson Doe, but I can't remember which one it is. I don't think it's the new performance, I think it's the older one. I'm not sure. 20B. A 135 and Ursus and this looks so this looks like a Lands Bulldog which is a German tractor but I cannot they look similar but I but I really wouldn't know the difference because we don't I don't think there are any over here uh, Farmwell 300 we've got that in here a Marshall 82802 which has got its lights on for some reason a County Model A and a Matty Ferguson 65X. So they're all the little vintage tractors. I've kind of just made a collection of them. They're not really going to have much use. Maybe I'll take the 135, the 20B, one of the, the Doe in the county out. I might use like one to do some different jobs with every so often. Um, that's what all this little kit round here is for because I want to start using them for actual stuff. So we've got the Acrobat. So at least we've got a Mower, a Tedder, a Milk Spreader, and a Rake. Um, I was thinking about doing small square bales, but another thing on this map I haven't put in is the bale destroy point. There's like, as I said, there's one or two little things that it's just a bit of a list really that needs doing. We have a new style two si uh, a new style T6 with the loader for the buckets and that. It's a person. I think it's a Pearson. I fucking I hate being dyslexic. Can't pronounce the fucking thing. But. Yeah, done by Artie, who's in our Discord, and they look absolutely amazing. Um, there's not much left to really look at on this map. I mean, you know, cows are here. Uh, so they have kind of all this area to roam around here. And uh, it is quite easy to navigate this map. So, oh, come on, jump. 
So there's a bit of a roadway here that leads back down to where the animal cell point is. Quite, there's quite a few fields on this map as well, so there's just little houses and stuff dotted around. There's, for some reason, there's just this little yard here. Don't ask; it's just, it just is here. There's, n has no function at all. You could probably store a few bales there or a bit of equipment. Um, we've got this yard up here in the midst of everything. This is the start point right there by that door. So in this yard. Uh, vehicle store point, you know, bale store point, you know, just bales I really think. I, that's all I'd store here. This silage pit doesn't work, it has no trigger in it because I forgot to do it, but, you know, minor thing. I never used it, I never come up here, so there's no point. And going down this road, it leads you to the barley field. So, it is quite a big map and it is quite a circular map. Um, when I eventually get round to it, I would like to do a let's play on this map. Probably after Bally Craig once we've done that, but I'm not too sure how. I'm not too sure how far I'm going to go with that. Um, but I will want I will want to go on this map. It is quite nice. <laughs> but I am not really that sure. So. But yeah, don't ask because literally there is only me and the person that wanted the map who asked me to convert it in the first place have done it. Well, has it? Uh, there's probably more. There's probably people that have converted it. Just this version that I'm running here was done by me and to give it to for somebody else. So unless he's given it out, only me and him have it. Um, it's not being released because it's an. It is actually an FS11 map. I had to convert it from FS13 though, so it's not. I, I see a lot of things in the comments saying why can't you just release it and everything, and that is what pisses modders off and everything. That's what pisses original creators off when people convert their map or their their work that they've done and just release it. All right, you know. For argument's sake, you could say, "Well, it's not theirs because it has to go through all the giant soft, like the giant software, and go in their game and everything." It, you know, it's it's technically not theirs, but still, the amount this took me to convert this map took me about a month, and it's a month that I'll never get back. You know, a month of time that I'll never get back. So, you know, I was on and off it, but you know, it's it's like if I if I started to give it out everywhere and someone released it, you know, it's just like, well there's a month gone of work that I didn't want, you know, that I did for someone else really. So that's why I don't release stuff and I don't trade mods because I know, you know, there are trustworthy people out there and there are also people that try and be your friend and then just give it out anyway. So But anyway, that's enough about that. That's just, you know, just my personal opinion. Um but anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below. We will be on Bally Craig once this episode is, you know, once I've done. I'll have to go on it tomorrow and do a bit of playtime, but I will go back on it. So, you know, this was just for the people that wanted to see the map. I know it was a quite quick and quite rushed, but it's 7 minutes past 11 here, and I've still got to edit this, and I've still got to edit a video for Zach Gaming. Link is in the description to the second channel if you want to go check it out. We're almost on 100 subs already, so thank you everybody that's joined. And I hope you do like the videos on there. But anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe more today. And also, check out Snapchat is in the description. Instagram, Facebook, and all that jazz is down there. And also join our FS community. Um, we're up to nearly 120 members, so thank you everybody for that. Happy farming and goodbye.